So last time we talked about Adam's allegations against Colleen Ballinger, so she finally responded and apologized about a lot of the stuff she did. So the main issue I was talking about in my last video was her sending the lingerie to the 13 year old kid. And I found that very weird because, you know, if you swap genders and a 30 year old man sends his underwear to a 13 year old girl, he'd be immediately cancelled regardless of context. But yeah, in, in this video she talks about a number of additional things, like her previous insensitive racist remarks, her talking about putting down her dog, that one was extremely messed up, but we'll get to that in a bit. So I'm just gonna go over her apology, and I'll tell you what she was apologizing for as well, in case you don't know the context. And yeah, you, you can come to your own conclusion in the comments, I'll, I'll, I'll give my input as well at the end as a little bonus, but... Yeah, let's get this started. Number one, racist stereotypes. The truth always comes out. Colleen is in a racist video mocking and stereotyping Mexicans. All right, so this is a clip from 14 years ago. Uh, I'll just play a part of it. That's basically it. Huh? We've been working on it for like a couple weeks, so like, yeah. we're hoping to make like the next theme song for the next the taco commercial. Yeah. I need to learn how to be like a backup singer and I can be her like. Now here's her apology. First thing I want to talk about is something that is weighing the heaviest on my heart right now. The video has resurfaced of my sister and I from 14 years ago. Uh, we were teenagers, and in this video we are doing care characters that are Latina, and the characters are completely based on racial stereotypes. It is not funny, and it is completely hurtful. I am so ashamed and embarrassed that I ever thought this was okay. A few years later, we realized how stupid and hurtful the video was, and we deleted it. Not out of fear of getting caught, but out of fear that someone would find it and it would hurt them because it's wrong. I mean, fair play, he apologized, and this was a long, long while back. It's literally been a decade and a half, so I'm pretty sure she's changed. But yeah, let's move on to the dog stuff because that shit is way more disturbing. Colleen Ballinger literally had a temper tantrum, physically, you know, thinged her dog. The dog bit her in self-defense and Colleen lied to the point where the dog was killed and she still makes jokes about it. I really don't get why you're so proud of that, like, I get, I get you were a kid and you don't understand things, but now that you're an adult, surely you can understand that that was massively messed up, but you're kind of just laughing about it. So uh, her apology is basically saying, I use humor to mask my true hardship and I was actually really upset about the dog dying. Something else I want to talk about that has been brought up is that when I was three years old, I was bit by a dog, I needed to go to the hospital, and when my mom told the doctor that a dog had bit me, the doctor said that legally the dog needed to be put down. Now, the clip of me that is circulating from seven years ago is me talking about this situation in a very insensitive way. When in reality, when our dog was put down, I was really upset, and over the years, I have addressed this a few times in videos talking about how guilty I feel, how upset I am that this happened. Still to this day, as a 33-year-old woman, I feel guilty that our dog had to be put down for biting me, but in this clip, I talk about the story in a very dramatic, silly way, because sometimes, unfortunately, I use humor to talk about things that are actually extremely painful for me, and this is an example of that. Okay, now we talk about the main issue that everybody wants to know. Why did Colleen Ballinger, a 30 year old adult, send a kid lingerie? It just kind of sounds messed up when you hear that, but let's just see what her explanation is. You want the bra? Everyone wants the bra. At the end of the live stream, I was done giving away clothes, and then this boy who made this video about me recently, he asked for the underwear. Yay, we picked people. I think that's enough. Did that boy win these or not? I don't know if he has to tell me what he wants. What did he say? Is he, he, <laughs> he said, um, hi, you have ugly clothes, but I want those ratchet panties and bra signed by Corey because he modeled them well. Yeah! <laughs> it was so ridiculous and funny, we laughed about it, and I forgot to send them to him. And eventually he tweeted me, asking me for them again. I sent them to him, he put them on over his clothes, and posted about them. It was like a big joke within the fandom. I did this publicly, that live stream is still up right now, and I've always given out weird random things in live streams. I've given out a taco costume, I've given out old body pins. Alright, so the context is, number one, Adam asked for it. Number two, it was a whole joke with the stream. And number three, she always gave out stuff on these live streams and she didn't really think that the bra and the, you know, panties was different from anything else. Now, with this context, she does look a little bit better, for sure. Is she a child groomer, as people are saying? There's really no concrete proof of that, so I would say no for now. Should she have sent the goddamn lingerie? Hell no, so... It's like, whatever, you know, you can't change the past, but I think in this particular instance, you're lucky you're female, that's all I'm gonna say. Now, Adam said in his video that his parents did not like Colleen's relationship with Adam, but Colleen says that, no, you never told me that. Your mom was always friendly with me. He also mentioned in his video that his mom was uncomfortable with me, which was surprising and shocking for me to hear because I was always under the impression due to the things he told me and the things that I saw on the internet that she not only was aware of our interactions, but she was very supportive of him being a fan of mine. She commented on a photo of him this year at my show saying how it was such a fun night. She gave him a birthday card when he was 16 with me on it. And he let me know multiple times how much his parents loved me and watched my videos. So this was surprising for me to hear because if I had known that, I would have stopped all interactions with him if I ever knew his parents were uncomfortable. Okay, so according to these screenshots, it seems that his mom liked Colleen 
scene and didn't think that these interactions between them were creepy at all. I don't know if he just lied here, you know, just expected people to believe him without proof or just forgot to provide screenshots, but we'll see if he responds because I don't know, man. Goddamn YouTube drama just never freaking ends, does it? Another thing I think is important to address from his video is that he did have access to my Miranda Singh's Twitter account for one day, um, not for years, and I want to just go over how that whole situation went down. All right, so Adam had access to her Twitter for only a day, but from Adam's video, it seems like, if you watch it, it seems like she had access for a much longer time, so Adam, um... You got, you got her with the lingerie shit for sure, that was hella creepy, but the rest of this stuff, I don't know, you're not being completely open here, because when I watched that video, I thought that, oh, she, she, you were controlling her Twitter for years, but it feels like you've hid some details here on purpose to make her look worse, so you're not really helping your case here. So he sent me a whole bunch of edited photos that he had in a folder ready to go for Miranda. He told me about a bunch of funny tweets he wanted to post, and he let me know that he had experience working in social media. He really vetted for himself, and because I'd known him for so many years, I was overexhausted, and I don't have all the time I used to have to run all my social media, I thought, you know what, this might be a good situation to test run this and see if this could work out. And now hiring my employees works as I usually do a little test run to see how it goes. If it goes well, then I hire them officially through my company, and they're paid legally through the corporation. It was no different for him. I wanted to do a little test run. If it went well, then I wanted to hire him. So I gave him access to my account, and he started tweeting stuff for me. Okay. So she's clearing things up for sure. It's very good that she made this apology video and she's ex uh, explaining a lot of the stuff. She definitely looks better than before, but I'm still going off her word here. If Adam wants to refute any of the things she's saying, he's free to make a video of his own. But according to what she says here, it seems like a normal business deal for a, I don't know, 16 or 17 year old fan at this point. I assume his mom would have to approve this deal as well. So... This particular part seems all right to me. Pretty quickly, there was a tweet that was posted that was problematic. Okay, real quick, in case you didn't know, the tweet she's referring to is coming out as a Megan Trainer fan. And the controversy is that she's baiting the LGBTQ community by pretending to come out and then just trolling them. This was my fault. He sent me a very long list of a ton of different things he wanted to post, and I did not look over it closely enough. I did not review it closely enough. I remember the moment when I saw all these things. I was breastfeeding my son, and I kind of just scrolled through. I was like, yeah, go for it. Have fun. I trust you. And when he posted it, I put zero blame on him at all. It was my fault. This I'm not sure about because I put zero blame on him, really. Y you constantly texted him, I'm very upset. I'm very, very upset. I would never tweet something like that. Please get all your tweets approved by me before you post as if you didn't approve that tweet like so you did kind of blame him so you're kind of lying here dog thing bad lingerie thing bad the rest of the shit i don't really give a shit so there we have it that's her apology i rate it personally a 6.5 out of 10 because she did address a lot of the stuff she apologized for a lot of the stuff I feel like she definitely had some help in making this video and it's not 100% genuine, but I think that's kind of required for the internet. But whatever, is what it is. At least it wasn't a crying sob story because that shit is just annoying. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe, hit the bell. Right, stay awesome. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.